Let's round up with US pre-market movers and chart levels. Uh, we talked last week about uh, NVIDIA, um, a graphics chip maker and how well they were doing. Um, and it just caught my eye that uh, one of their smaller peers, PXLW, was down sharply in mean, Friday's trade, down 13.6%. Uh, this is pixel works, um, but there's a reason um, they haven't reported bad results. They've actually taken the opportunity to raise some money. They're placing around 3.25 million shares at a price of $4.75. That was quite literally a 14% discount to the opening price on uh, on Friday, and they've they've come in basically in line with that now, and they're raising around $15.4 million for the business. So that's pixel works. Uh, what I'd like to look at there is whether they have a rally. Uh, in, you know, in today's session, having done that on Friday. And then um, another stock that took my eye, and we talked about the media sector uh, last week as well, Lionsgate Corporation, that's LGF in the US, trading on Friday around $37.61, closed up 6.4%. Um, they had, along with um, many other media stocks, starting with Disney, been given a good whack in the last week. But their figures and their production pipelines have been reassessed after last week's sharp fall. It's also... Uh, not escape my attention that John Malone, who uh, is has, has a man with a finger in many cable and media companies, right. sits on the LGF board and it has hinted at uh, his interest in maybe doing some some sort of consolidation in the content sector. So I just flag that he sits there. I'm not saying that they're they're in his sights, but it, but if he were going to get involved in a in a stock, it might be well be one where he already has a holding and an influence. Right. Um, and in terms of uh, levels to watch today, uh, FTSE 66.74 now on the downside, plays 67.50 to the upside. Uh, FTSE is down on the day for choice, uh, was, was down well over 50 points at one mm. stage. Uh, the DAX, uh, 11,486 now on the downside, plays 11,550, really just searching for direction there at the moment. Uh, the S&P price action on Friday in the US markets was uh, down on the negative side. I guess on the, on the premise that if rates are rising quicker, then uh, that's you know possibly bad news for equity markets. But 2067 now uh, on the downside plays 2080 to the upside, and for the Dow, 17,280 plays 17,380. Similar story to the S&P. We we're really just you know trading the ranges here. Trading right? water. Um, in terms of the currencies? Again, um, not, not too much action um, from the early session in Asia and London London trading, but 109.24 now is the downside level to watch uh, on the euro against the dollar, and 109.70 the upside. Uh, and then in Aussie dollar, US dollar, 73.29, plays 73.80, so no real change there from Friday's levels. Same, same levels exactly uh, in dollar yen, so we're watching 124. 40 again on the downside, plays 125 double O on the upside, and that round number on the upside is a big level. So a, break, a, break, a sustained break above that will be, will be a very important move. Okay. And, and cable, um, still a bit weaker for choice. The sort of supremacy, if you will, in the likelihood of interest rate rises seems to switch back to the dollar now. So 154.27 on the downside, plays 154.96 to the upside. But in fairness, I think you can say it's holding its own. Okay.